I am ready when you are ready. All right. Um, you know, obviously, uh, most people know me as I want to join the military and all that kind of stuff. Well, what a lot of things people don't know about me is I come from a long line of well, truck drivers. Um, my gra my great grandpa uh, started out working on cruise ships way back in the day, back in the 30s. Well, he was offered a job driving a truck, and in the winter time, he would drive across the Mackinac Straits where the Mackinac Bridge is now. So when it was frozen over, he'd drive across it. And I think the early 50s, 1950, 1950 or 1951, my grandpa was 16, and he started driving for uh, Morville, or Morville and Robert Lalonde. Uh, you might know an MLT up there. Everybody's seen MLT trucks. Well, he started doing that, and he started hauling milk, and started hauling uh, cans like this. And these are 10-gallon milk cans. Loaded, they weigh uh, 83 pounds. And as time progressed, he uh, went on different trucks. They went to bulk in the early 60s, which is like this right here. It's a giant tank, and these hoses and stuff to pump milk from bulk tanks inside a farm. Well, my dad sort of fell into it when he was, when he started riding with my grandpa when he was two, and he just sort of fell into it. And he started working the pump over in Elm, which is what I do now. I started doing that back in uh, July. And it's just been kind of like a family tradition working down there, which is kind of tradition I hope to end in a couple of years, because frankly driving trucks sucks. Well, for or the summer after I graduate, I'll probably get this truck right here. It's a T800 Kenwood. Piece of crap, but yeah, anyway, I'd say the majority of my life I spent around farms, so I constructed this thing here. It's like a little fence section. Threw this together last night. And throughout my life, I've had ups and downs. Um, and I was <coughs> a year and a half, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Um, this is when he found out that day. And well, these two pictures were taken the same day. And uh, this is him out at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Um, after that, or after he did his treatment and his surgeries, he came back from it and went back to driving. And on my first or second birthday, so I can find it uh, right down here. My second birthday, I went with my dad riding in a uh, milk truck, and uh, for my birthday cake, I had a little truck cake, and uh, basically that just sort of started the line. And as time progressed, you know, I got really good at it, and I actually got hired down at the loans when I was six years old. My grandpa had surgery on his foot and he couldn't drive, and no one else knew that route but me and my dad, and my dad couldn't do it. So they sent me with the guy that owns the company at the time, and I showed him where all my grandpa's farms were and that sort of thing. I mean, 10 bucks there, you know. And when I was 10, when I turned 10, I joined the Sea Cadets, and this picture of me at my first flagship, this is me at uh, boot camp. Sheila was there. Wherever you are. Yeah. A long time ago. And just sort of then that's been about my life. Just trucks and joining the military. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's it. You know